Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to Foundations Unit 7, Week 3, Day 3. So we are still talking about multisyllable words, specifically words that have that letter Y sounding like a long I and a long E. We are still learning about those new suffixes, L-Y, Lee, T-Y, T, and Y, E. But before we get into our lesson, let's do some drill practice. Here we go. You are going to echo what I say. So I will say it and then you repeat it back to me. Here we go. I-N-D, find, ind. I-L-D, wild, ild. O-L-D, cold, old. O L T Colt Olt O S T Post Oast I V E Give If All right, Smarties, and let's do some open open syllable vowel sounds. So I'm gonna get these highlighted. And here we go. A, acorn, A. E, me, E. I, hi, I. O, no, O. U, pupil, U. U, flu, U. Why cry I? Why baby E? So when we hear the letter Y as a suffix, what vowel sound does it say? It says that long E sound. So when we see Y as a suffix or part of L, Y, or T, Y, it's going to say E. So these vowels are different from the other two vowel drill practice that we've done. We have our short vowel sounds, we have our vowel consonant E sounds, and the vowels we just did are those vowel sounds that we see in those open syllables. So as we are practicing spelling words with more than one syllable, we got to think about those open syllables, those vowel consonant E syllables, and those closed syllables. All right, Smarties, and we are going to practice some suffixes. So here we go. L Y Lee. T Y T. Y E. I V E. If I N G ing E S is all right, kiss your brains, and let's get our student notebooks ready for our word of the day. So go ahead and pause this video and get your student notebook so we are ready to go. All right, Smarty, so I am going to build our word of the day, and I am using my tile board for this activity, and all right, so looking at the word that I just built, what is this word? This is the word bravely. Looking at the word bravely, what is the base word of bravely? Brave is our base word, which means our suffix is that L-Y. So if I do some, if I am using the word bravely in a sentence, that means I am doing something bravely. That means my action.
actions are done in a brave way. So I br- I jumped off the diving board bravely. I jumped in a brave way. So bravely is our word of the day. Let's look at a few more words that use this suffix. All right, so what about this word, 60, 60, six, 60. What is my base word? Six, let's tap it out, six, six. How would I spell that? S, what says I, what says X? X. Now, what suffix says T? Look at the suffixes on my tile board. What suffix says T? T-Y. So six, 60. Good job. 60 is how many tens? I'm making you do math. How many tens is in the number 60? Six tens. Kiss your brain and let's keep going. All right, this one is going to be tricky. We are going to build a word This one is tricky. When you know this word, I want you to go ahead and tell it to me. This is the word lively. Hmm. I see a close syllable exception in this word. I see a glued sound in this word that says something else sometimes. Do you see it? Lively. So usually, Sometimes we see that I-V-E, and what does that I-V-E say? If, but in this word, the I-V-E is saying I've, l, i, v. Live is our base word. Lively, li is our suffix. So lively is an adverb. It describes how I do something. So I dance. Lively. I dance in a lively way. Woo. All right. Let's do one more word. Let me think. Hmm. Ooh, I have one. <clears throat> We're going to build the word shabby. What's the word? Shabby. What says sh? S H. What says a? Ah? B. Or A, <laughs> what says B? B, now I hear E at the end. Hmm. What letter can say E at the end of a word in an open syllable? The letter E, but what else can say E? That Y, but remember, shabby, that Y doesn't like to stay alone, so it gets a bonus B, shabby. If something is shabby, that means it's kind of messy. So if something is shabby, that means it's kind of it's kind of messy or it's kind of broken in a little way or it's torn up. Shabby. And actually, Miss Mason used the wrong tile. Shabby. So why is my suffix shabby? Something is done in a, sh something is shabby. If something is shabby, that means it's kind of torn up. All right, Smarty. So go ahead and get your student notebook out. And our word of the day was bravely. So we are going to open to page 38 in our student notebook. 38. There's 38. And we are going to write bravely. Notice that I underline my base word, and it has that vowel consonant E, and I circled my suffix L, Y, Lee. And I want to make sure that I use that word 
in the correct way when writing a sentence. So I said, I jumped off the diving board bravely. All right, make sure when you are writing your sentence, you can use the same sentence as I did or challenge yourself and come up with a new way to use the word bravely. But make sure you start with a capital letter and with punctuation and check to make sure your words are spelled correctly. All right, Smarties, we are going to wrap up this lesson by doing something a little different. Ooh, we are going to test your knowledge on trick words that we have learned in the past. So I am going to write a trick word. And even though I can't hear you, I know that you are still learning. So when you see this trick word, I want you to tell me what it is. Are you ready? What's this trick word? Once, once upon a time, there was a magical teacher named Miss Mason. So this is a trick word, once. What is this trick word? Once. My smarties and I did something really fun today, and I want to try it with you. Here we go. So we are going to sky write this word, but we're going to use our foot. And we are going to write the word on the ground with our foot. Are you ready? Here we go. O N C E once. What was this trick word? Once. Let's skywrite it on our lead now. Here we go. O N C E once. What was that trick word? Once. All right. Let's test your knowledge with another trick word once Miss Mason gets her board erased. All right. Here is another trick word that is some review to check your knowledge. Do you guys like the sound of my marker? Ooh. All right. What is this trick word? When you know it, go ahead and say it. This is the trick word, sure. Now, looking at how this is spelled, it does not look how it sounds. Trick words are words that we just have to know because these are words we can't tap out most of the time. There are some, once we learn some rules about how we read and write, we can sound them out when we learn those rules. But some words, we just have to know what they are. So this is the word, sure. All right, let's write sure on our arm. Here we go. I am sure we can do this. Here we go. S-U-R-E, sure. Sure. All right, let's write it on our brains. Here we go. Are you ready? S-U-R-E, sure. What was this trick word? Sure. I want you to go ahead and spell it to me right now. Go for it. Oh my goodness, kiss your brains. All right, and to wrap up, let's test your knowledge on our trick words for this week. All right, are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Here we go. What is this first trick word? Night, let's sky right night. Here we go, N-I-G-H-T, night. What was that again? Night. All right, what about this one? Carry. I carry pizza guy to the couch. Pizza guy is my cat. All right, let's skywrite carry. I want you to challenge yourself. Close your eyes as you skywrite it. Are you ready? Here we go. C A R R Y. Carry. What was that trick word? Carry. And here's our last one for this week. It's a long one. What is this? Hmm. Something tells me it's the word something. All right, let's skywrite the word something. Here we go. S O M E T H I N G. Oh, do you feel like your armor's gonna fall off? I feel like my armor's gonna fall off. All right, what was this trick word? 
something. All right, let's test your knowledge. Here we go. Night. Something and carry. All right, Smarties. Kiss that beautiful brain. Remember to keep that growth mindset because good learners do hard things. All right. I will see you tomorrow with another video lesson. I will see you tomorrow with another video lesson. <laughs> Happy learning, second grade Smarties. Bye.